You won't believe the amazing news. Rick and Marty, the treasure hunting duo, have been on an epic adventure for what feels like ages, drilling and searching high and low for that elusive treasure on the mysterious island. And guess what? Their perseverance has paid off big time. They've struck gold. Well, maybe not literally gold, but something extraordinary for sure. So one fine day, Marty, Legina, and Rick head over to the Money Pit location, eager to see the progress of the probe drilling operation happening in the garden shaft. They're like two kids on a treasure hunt, all excited and full of hope. You can almost imagine them with shovels and pirate hats. They start drilling away inch by inch, and after some nail-biting moments, they reach their target depth of about 93 feet. And lo and behold, they get the feeling that they've finally hit the jackpot. It's like finding a needle in a haystack, but they've done it. They've found the spot they've been searching for all this time. Cue the victory dance. But oh boy, the adventure doesn't end there. There's a twist in the plot. Now they encounter a bit of a challenge. A wooden barrier stands between them and the potential treasure zone. It's like facing the final boss in a video game. They've got to figure out how to break through and reveal the secrets that lie beyond that barrier. Will they make it? The suspense is killing us. It's the last day of their intense search, and they know they have limited time to explore. But you know what? These guys are true adventurers. They're not giving up without a fight. They make a bold decision. To go all out and investigate further before the sun sets. There's no time for hesitation. They're determined to leave no stone unturned. With excitement in their eyes, they pack up their gear, ready to dive deeper into the mystery. It's like being at the climax of an epic movie, and we're all at the edge of our seats, waiting for the big reveal. They disassemble the drilling rods, clean out the file, and carefully bag up their equipment, all while strategizing on what they could possibly encounter next. Oh, and let me tell you, Oak Island is a real tough cookie when it comes to revealing her secrets. The team was super eager to gather any tiny piece of info they could find, determined to figure out what that mysterious buried wood at the bottom of the garden shaft was all about. They gave it their all, but initially they hit a wall, not a zilch. But one of the team members, bless his heart, was absolutely sure he felt wood on the northern side of the board. He's like, hold up guys, I'm onto something. Despite the earlier disappointment, he managed to squeeze into the tunnel without getting hit. Thank goodness. Then came the light bulb moment. They had this genius idea to use that piece of wood as a guide to trace the tunnel's line. Like, who would have thought? It's like they're playing detective, trying to piece together the puzzle. But hey, they hadn't checked the bottom yet, so they needed to gear up and take the plunge into the shaft. And let me tell you, this was a moment they had been waiting for, dreaming about even. It's like a childhood fantasy come to life. The excitement was through the roof as they ventured deep into the infamous area known as the Money Pit, following in the footsteps of countless adventurers who had been there over hundreds of years. You can just imagine the thrill of the hunt, the hope of finding hidden treasures, and the mystery unfolding before their very eyes. Oak Island sure knows how to keep people on their toes, so they're diving headfirst into the adventure, ready to uncover whatever secrets lie beneath the surface. And time was ticking, but it seems like solving this mystery won't be a walk in the park anytime soon. It's starting to feel like whatever's hidden in that shaft was deliberately placed there to make it a real puzzle to crack. But hey, they're not giving up. With the clock against them, they thought using a metal detector might be a game changer. So they decided to put their last bit of time to good use and called in one of their experienced team members to work some metal detecting magic and see what secrets lay in that hole. Finally, there's a glimmer of hope. They might just be getting closer to uncovering the actual treasure. The surroundings had that old medieval vibe, like something straight out of the time when the Templars were calling the shots. Imagine being in a hidden dungeon within a fortress. Still, they're scratching their heads trying to figure out what exactly is in that hole. They have a hunch there might be a bunch of modern nails and wire buried down there. Thank goodness for the CTX-3030 metal detector. It's like a superhero gadget that not only helps them find these clues, but also has all those cool features to distinguish different stuff. So, even though it's a race against time, they're not giving up hope. They're digging into the past and unearthing the truth, step by step. And who knows? 
They might just hit the jackpot and rewrite history. They made contact with something, but it wasn't a Ferris target. The team's mind is racing. Could it be gold, silver, or even copper? The possibilities are endless, but they can't be certain just yet. Are they on the verge of unearthing the fabled treasure right there at the bottom of the garden shaft, just a few feet below the ground surface? Or could it be some sort of signal passing through a tube, leading westward towards a mysterious blob about 10 feet under the surface? It's like a roller coaster of emotions, a bittersweet moment. Dumas and the team are brimming with excitement when they talk about that non-ferrous hit. It's like they've struck gold. Well, maybe not literally, but you get the idea. Finding a non-ferrous metal is cause for celebration, as it suggests there's something valuable down there. But here's the sad part. They don't have the legal permits to dig any deeper at this time of the year. And safety comes first, right? They can't risk the project's future or the team's well-being by venturing into potentially unstable ground. It's a real downer that they can't continue the adventure and explore further. Oak Island's flooding troubles might be attributed to both the glacial tumulus system and the water-filled anhydride holes beneath it. You see, Oak Island sits on top of a series of glacial tumuli formed by ancient glaciers. These tumuli are made of a special kind of limestone that's prone to dissolving in the presence of water. As a result, natural caves and cavities can form, causing periodic flooding in the pit. The bedrock can be found at depths ranging from 38 to 45 meters, 125 to 148 feet, near the excavation site. Now let's talk about the exciting history of treasure hunting on Oak Island. Since the 18th century, people have been on the lookout for valuable artifacts on the island. It's like a real-life treasure hunt with claims about the Holy Grail, Shakespearean manuscripts, pirate riches, and even the Ark of the Covenant potentially hidden there. Some believe that the Knights Templar buried the Holy Grail and the Ark on the island, adding to the intrigue. Over the years, various items have been discovered on the island, slowly making their way to the surface. Archaeologists have used carbon dating on some of these items, and the results are mind-boggling. Some of these relics are hundreds to thousands of years old. Can you imagine the stories they could tell if they could talk? And oh boy, the race for riches on Oak Island is a real nail-biter. We've got two parties in the spotlight, the adventurous Legina brothers and the government. But guess what? Neither of them has a monopoly on all that treasure. There's enough potential wealth for both of them to have a slice of the pie, if not the whole shebang. If they strike gold, the Legina brothers would rightfully claim their share of the treasure. I mean, they've put in the hard work, dedication, and passion into this epic hunt. And let's not forget the government. They might also have a legitimate claim, especially if there are any historical or national significance to the findings. But you know what? Only time will reveal how this story unfolds. It's like watching a thrilling TV show, waiting for the next episode to see who wins it all. Will the Legina brothers find the treasure of a lifetime? Will the government get a piece of the action too? We'll just have to wait and see. In the end, it's a high-stakes game, and the passage of time is the ultimate judge. So let's buckle up and enjoy the ride as this epic treasure hunt continues. Who knows, we might witness history in the making. That's it for this video. Feel free to explore our previous videos to get your mind blown. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever we upload an intriguing content.